Hi theater addicts, my name's Sonia and I'll be reviewing Life, Blood, Water by Interdepend Theater, playing at the Cult Historic Theater right behind me, uh, as part of the 2018 Vancouver Fringe Festival. This show is a dance and theater story piece exploring choice and autonomy in the context of pregnancy loss and the pro-life, pro-choice debates. I'm really curious to see a piece of art tackle this kind of a topic. I feel like I've heard a lot in the news and the media uh, about these sorts of debates, but I would love to see an artistic take on the topic uh, at a show at the Fringe. The creative duo behind this show consists of Livana Irina Prudhomme, a dancer, choreographer, performer, and Clay Nikki Forrick, a writer, speaker, performer. I'm really curious to see how these two artists collaborate together. I'm not familiar uh, with their previous works. I don't know if they've collaborated together in the past. I'm curious to see how much of this show is going to be dance and what exactly the theater story element uh, is going to be and how the two are going to tie together. I'm really excited to see this show. Just saw Life, Blood, Water and I loved it. This piece is so intimate and so well performed and so thought provoking. It, it's excellent. I can't believe it's only 30 minutes and it's like jam packed so much emotion and thought and expression in there. I'm, I'm blown away. I wish the audience was more full. Um, I was hoping to see more people out there uh, to see the content, something with this kind of content. Um, but I was happy to see men and women and people of all genders there because uh, I feel like a lot of times stuff that's you know surrounding predominantly women and people with uteruses can get swept under the rug um, you know and other people don't always want to talk about it um, and this is part of the issue that they bring up in the show is that we don't have a ton of support and education and body literacy available for discussing pregnancy loss. If you're someone that's gone through an abortion or a miscarriage and you're kind of expected to just treat it as something that's in your past and not talk about it, not share it, there isn't a ton of support like publicly available. Um, this show was really great. It, it brought up ideas that I hadn't really thought all the way through uh, amidst you know the pro-life, pro-choice debates. Um, just talking about you know, natural pregnancy loss. The fact that even if you live somewhere where you're allowed to choose to have an abortion, are you allowed to choose what that looks like? Um, I never even considered, uh, even in today's like accessibility for you know non-clinical treatments and, and options, holistic healthcare, I'd never considered that something like that might exist for ending a pregnancy uh, safely and supportively. I'm blown away. I love the costumes. There were two dancers in the background most of the time in uh, uh, really suggestive attire. These plain black tops and the bottoms were bright blood red. And I felt like that really fit with the show. Um, yeah, really, really appreciated the costumes. I'm Sonia, reviewing Life, Blood, Water by Interdepend Theatre at the Cult Historic Theatre as part of the 2018 Vancouver Fringe Festival. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this and other shows uh, at playing at the Fringe, so please leave us some of your thoughts in the comments below. And remember to follow our Theatre Addicts YouTube channel for more interviews and reviews as they come in.